Greetings comrades, Good Samaritan here, coming to you from down here on earth in this vessel. I just keep waking up here, I don't know. Um, it's been a while since I posted anything, well not that long, a month. A lot's happened in a month, hasn't it? They definitely haven't slowed down on their agenda, that is for sure, to be expected. Just going to keep getting worse until Jesus comes back. Amen. And he will be back. <laughs> Real soon. We just keep having to be patient. In trials of many kinds, rejoice. Because the testing of our faith produces perseverance. So, what about that CERN? Are you concerned? On July 5th, I believe... They're going to turn it back on. Apparently, CERN has been shut down for the last close to four years doing upgrades. Upgrades. Wonder what that is. So, July 5th at 10 a.m., they are set to turn it back on. Bigger and better and more powerful than ever. So, they'll be colliding more particles... Why you need to smash things together to find out more about them is a little beyond me. That's, that's like, I would like to find out more about your head. So we're going to smash another person's head against your head so we can and examine what comes out of it. And then we'll know more about it. I don't think it works that way. But then again, I'm not a scientist. So let's take a look at that article. Here we are at the website, inverse.com slash science. It says, uh, posted 21 hours ago. The Large Hadron Collider restarts next week. Here's what it's hunting for. Here's what you need to know. On July 5th, Underneath the suburbs of Geneva, Switzerland, the world's largest particle collider will fire up and start collecting data again. And what they might find has potential to blow particle physics open wide. Wide open. After nearly four years of shutdown extended by COVID-induced delays, the Large Hadron Collider LHC, is about to kick off its third round of experiments, called succinctly run three CERN will commemorate the launch with a live stream at 10 a.m. Eastern time so they're gonna do a live stream on it guess we can tune in and check out what's going on physics have physicists have high hopes for run three they hope to unlock new particles and new mechanisms that they've been, never been able to see. Recent physics research has unveiled a possible fifth force and challenges to the standard model of physics. Run 3 could... It could what? What does the Large Hadron Collider do? Yeah. Smashes together particles usually protons, also collide larger particles that physicists call heavy ions. Typically that means ions of lead, the heaviest non-radioactive element. To do this, the LHC first shoots two beams of particles into its ring, traveling in opposite directions. They spiral around and around, accelerated and guided by high-powered electromagnetics, electromagnets, until they reach very near the speed of light. Then after they've come up to speed, they collide head on. Sounds like a great idea. Whatever is going on here ain't good. I assure you that. I may be a simple-minded man. A peasant even. But it doesn't take much to understand 
that this is not good. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand that where we're heading, it ain't good. Those collisions cause the innards of the speeding particles, the tinier particles that work as their building block, to fling loose. Some crash into each other, and in the high energy, high temperature, high extreme conditions with a collision, all sorts of weird particles can pop out of the woodwork. Scientists study the detritus, detritus, that's left behind. Their highly sophisticated detectors can pick through the debris and find the trails, traces, and fingerprints all those particles leave behind. Yeah, like I said, we'll smash our heads together and examine what comes out. Sounds like a great idea. Opening up portals. Well... You, you guys probably know more than I do about CERN. Leave, uh, leave some comments. I'd like to hear what you gotta say about all this. God bless you guys, in Jesus' mighty name.